If you've just recently gone through a breakup, I'm sure you're at a point where you feel like a part of your soul has died. I remember when I went through a really big breakup, for me it just felt like I'd been left to die. I think what really makes it worse is the fact that now you have this one person who was the one person you loved the most in the world, who meant the world to you. That person is now your number one enemy and I think that takes a lot to wrap your head around. These are just some of the things that I wish that somebody had told me when I had a big breakup. First things, this is going to hurt. It is going to hurt because this is going to leave such a big hole in your heart. You're going to want to call your friends and you want to be complaining about stuff, you're going to keep crying, you, you will feel like whining, you'll feel like doing all of these things and that's fine, you need to get it out of your system. But if there's the one thing I wish that somebody had told me was the fact that the more you talk about this with your friends, you're just going to make yourself unhappy and you're going to make your friends want to sort of distance themselves from you. Here was my remedy for that, alright. When I really felt like I was completely down after the breakup, every single time I picked up my phone and if I was feeling a certain way, honestly speaking, what you're feeling, you can encapsulate all of that in one sentence. I'm really sad and that's fine. Start your conversation, say that, get that out of the system. Make sure you're feeling sad on that conversation for just a bit because here's the thing, the only person who can really pick yourself up at this point is you. The weird part about breakups is the fact that you're suddenly in this place where you feel so out of your natural habitat because you've built a life with someone and however long that um, liaison may have been, the fact is now you feel completely alone, alright? This sounds like such a cliche, but the fact is time does heal. I remember when I was first told this by people, I was like, why are they telling me all of these greeting card lines? I survived. People have different ways of dealing with stuff. For me, I think the way for me to deal with things was I needed affection. I did a multiple number of hookups. I'm not advocating that. I'm not saying that's the best way to get around it. But you find your own rhythm. And something beautiful happened. In the middle of all of those hookups, I think about a month and a half later, after the breakup, I remember finding someone. And, and what that did for me was the fact that it told me that, you know what, I can fall in love again. Because the problem with the big breakup is the fact that you think that this is it. You feel like you're not going to meet someone incredible after this. You feel like nothing is ever going to be as good as this was. And I think the moment you break that bubble, uh, the moment you shatter that myth, your life becomes a little bit more easier after that point. You know, you, the thing about the breakups is there's really, there's really no way to sugarcoat that. There's nothing you can really do about it because it makes you feel horrible. But I wish somebody had told me after a breakup that what you really need to do is to move forward. You know, I remember reading a lot of articles. I remember reading a lot of literature on how to really deal with a breakup. I remember Googling furiously, how do I get over someone? And I think we've all done that at some point. And there was a lot of stuff there that I didn't agree with. You know, sure, if, you're, if your love story has ended for whatever reason, in my heart, I'm not, not I'm not really not someone to give up on love very easily. I tried everything. Every single one of these videos I watched said, you have to have a 30 day no contact period or a 60 day no contact period. And that was all okay. But in my head, I said, hey, if I've been in love, like I have, I'm going to give this everything I've got. I'm going to give this an honest shot. I remember telling myself that this is not a place for you to have an ego. You want this, all right? You go all after it. I did. It didn't work for the simple reason that, of course, I realized much later that the reason for our breakup and there was, you know, there was a lot of infidelity involved and stuff. And that was a whole different ball game. But if, if it just ends quickly, real love does not spontaneously combust. And it took me a while to realize that. I really, really, really wish that somebody would have told me that when you break up, your parents are going to be your absolute rock stars. I remember my dad and me have a lot of differences, okay? He is drowning himself in alcohol. There are times when I cannot speak to him for weeks together because he just doesn't wake up. He's drunk from morning to evening. But I remember during my breakup when I was, I really needed a parent. I think my father saw that, all right? And I remember him powering through for me. And it was this incredible feeling of strength that I got to know that my dad was right behind me. I think a lot of us alienate our parents, but I'm going to tell you this, and I don't know why nobody else told me this, the moment you're honest about your feelings with your parents, the kind of love that they can give you is unconditional. I turned that breakup into this beautiful bright side to be much closer to my father. That didn't last. I might need another breakup for us to patch things again. But I'm just saying, I think they really, because they are the people who selflessly really care about your well-being. If there's one thing I really wish amongst all these other things that somebody did tell me uh, when I had a big breakup was the fact that you will live, you will survive. This is going to sound so shallow when I say this on the one hand. I've had a few breakups, alright? My dad lost a wife. I know so many of my friends' parents who've lost a spouse. 
Imagine when you have a breakup, you can call the person, you can talk, you can fight, you can say I'm missing you, you can say all of these things. Imagine what happens when somebody you love passes away, right? I think that must be the most difficult. I think for my dad, the fact that my mum was no more, what do you do with that? There was no fight, there was nothing, just, there's just one poof and the person is gone. You have no chances of redemption, nothing. I'm not saying there's a bright side to this, but if there's one thing you can take away from that is the fact that no matter what it is, you know, this person that you loved in the past is still alive. At some point in your lives, if it has its way and if you are meant to be together, you probably will be together. If you do all of this with an open heart, I'm sure it's fine. I'm not getting into the reasons for the breakup. Sometimes relationships are not good for us. Sometimes it is a good thing to walk away from one. And I think um, all of us have um, that kind of judgment in us to know that what is really good for us and what is really bad. I was, for me, you know, we live in a world where social media is so big. I remember one of my closest friends, it was his ex-girlfriend's birthday the other day. And I remember him saying, dude, I'm so irritated today because when I'm seeing her on Instagram posting videos of her birthday, jumping around, he said, it's making me so angry. That's true. You know, it's just, I don't know why we become those people because this one person who meant the world to us, now suddenly to see them happy makes it feel like it's a stab at our heart. I don't know why that happens, but it does happen. And I remember what that was happening to me. I just, I remember saying I'm a better person than this because suddenly I, I found myself wishing ill for this person that I loved tremendously and that seemed very wrong. Try and get away from the, their social media and yours. Um, I think it really helps. The one other thing which no one told me, which um, Oddly enough, people gave me advice which was quite on the contrary. They said, you know, make sure you put up a lot of posts and pictures where you're happy and you're having fun and you're, you're doing all of these things. But I was like, I'm not happy and I'm not having fun. I think the one thing I really wish somebody had told me is the fact that after your breakup, if you're living even 1% of your life to try and prove to the other person that you are happy, if at the back of your brain, when you're doing any activity, if you're still thinking about, oh my God, my ex is going to think about this or they're going to watch this somewhere, and it's going to make them feel a certain way, you need to cut your cords from that because you're not moving forward, you're not letting them move forward. You're not going to enjoy anything. I remember one of my friends when she broke up with this boy, she wanted to have pictures with a lot of hot looking boys only because she was so aware that her ex was going to be watching these videos and you know, that was just... But that didn't help anything. I mean, we don't know really what came out of it. The fact is you're not really moving forward. She probably would have actually, you know, had a scene with one of these new boys but it didn't happen because she was only still thinking about the ex and I really wish somebody would have told me that after a breakup, don't do anything to try and show to your ex what a wonderful life you have. If you're sad, you're sad. If you're happy, you're happy. If you've had a breakup for the better, that's awesome. If you've had a breakup for the worse, sometimes love just does not come your way and you deal with it. And the final thing I wish somebody would have told me when I did have a breakup was the fact that you really should give it an honest shot. All right? I don't know why. For some reason, when, when a breakup happens, there is so much negativity around. I think your friends begin to tell you how horrible your partner, your spouse, your girlfriend, boyfriend was because they're trying to make you feel good. I don't know why. Nobody in my life told me that, you know what, if you really think this love is worth it, go after it. Do it. Um, do it with an honest intention. Sure, every breakup is different. Every breakup has a different circumstance. Every love story is different. Uh, there is no way to compare the two. But I really wish somebody would have told me that this is not a point to play political games. I didn't fall in love with politics. I didn't live a relationship with politics. Then when I've broken up, why should I worry about, oh, I'm going to do this and my partner's going to do this or my ex is going to do this. I really wish somebody would have told me that just be honest with your feelings and I think it's going to help you get through this a lot faster. I don't have a political brain. If I was feeling hurt, I would say I'm feeling hurt. If I'm feeling happy, I would say I'm feeling happy. If down the line I met someone incredible, which I did, I said it. And I think for me, that healing was much better. I'm going to be honest with you. Even when I'm making this video, I know that if you really are going through a breakup right now, maybe some of this will resonate with you. But mostly, the only person who's going to really be able to pick you up is you, all right? Either you can keep drowning yourself in self-pity, and that's an easy road to walk trust me that happens honestly or you say all right this is not work out but being happy is a conscious choice i'm not saying you have to have a rebound i'm not saying you have to try and replace the person i'm not saying any of that but i think you have to genuinely tell yourself that you have to pick yourself up it's a big deal a breakup is a big deal all right no one's going to understand that but you no matter how many breakups somebody's gone through your breakup is something that only you will understand you just have to be strong Good luck.
really you need that and i love you very much